I know two guys who wants to learn programming and both of them have zero experience in programming. That's why they decided to start a course introduction in programming which is going to last for months. The first guy preferred to have party and have fun instead of studying. And he is playing games with friends, he is watching movies and TV and he is spending hours and hours in YouTube and Facebook. He wants to study only 15 minutes per week and this will be enough for him to prepare for this exam. And also he believes that only for one day, just for one day, he will learn everything for this exam. And his learning curve is doing nothing for weeks and learning only for one day. And he will study the whole night before the exam. On the other hand, the other guy is going to read many books related to programming. He is going to solve many problems related to programming. And he is going to practice a lot. This guy is studying really hard for all these months for this course and he's going to be prepared really well even long before the final exam and he will have much more knowledge than the required one in the exam he also believes in never-ending process of learning and his learning curve is growing gradually with time he also wants to improve every day and he believes that today he has to be better than yesterday and tomorrow he has to be better than today. The first guy at the end he will know nothing and he will fail for his exam and he will be disappointed. On the other hand the other guy is going to finish with successful result and he will be really happy and the first guy is going to complain programming is stupid the language sucks the course was bad and I don't like programming at all while the second guy is going to be really happy and he will think uh, I know what I know and I want to learn something new I want to improve and I want to learn how can I focus on this exact area? And finally several advices. First you need to work, then you can have fun. So it's better to finish all your tasks, all your work and all your problems and then and only then if you have time and power to play games and have fun. Second one is be persistent. You need to work every single day. You have to improve every day and to learn something new and to not stop this process. Third one is advancing small steps. It's really better to work all these months and to spend even 15 minutes or 30 minutes per day instead of one whole week just before the exam. And the final advice change a bad habit for a good habit. For example, you can replace gaming with reading books, watching TV with studying and social networks with practice. And that's how you should learn programming.